point welcome back to the uh, next video that I'd like to share with you guys um, once again this is how I've discovered things playing around I'd like to share this with you if it helps anybody to get them on their way to dig even further than I've already done that and of course adapt it to your situation on this particular video I'd like to look at workflow now what is workflow I think the best would be to start off with what you've already seen me doing in this video in these videos and this is when for instance I do a purchase order or a material request or a purchase invoice you would always see let me just open one of these you would always see on the top of the document, obviously it's not there now because it's already completed, but there's always a save and a submit button. And I just say save and submit. Okay, you might recall me doing that. With any of these documents, purchase invoices, and of course sales, um, quotations and orders, all these things. But, and of course uh, this, is true if you're in a very small business one or two or three people where one person actually does all the um, ERP type of stuff the same guy would raise the material request that does the purchase order etc 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 of course if you get to a bigger company this no longer works and it's not necessarily because somebody some people might commit fraud yes certainly that's also a possibility but it's also simply just to catch errors all right it's always easy to make a mistake and if there's an approval process then it's easier to catch mistakes before they you don't want to send out a quote for for an item that costs a thousand rand and somebody forgot to type a zero and make it make the quotation for a hundred rand so it's also just to catch the errors what I'm going to do is I'm going to work out a simple example for um, quotation approval. All right, so at the moment we've got no workflow um, lists, so we define one. Now, of course, that's the workflow name, and this is the document to which it is going to be applied for. Now, this name can be really anything quotation approval simply your name for this uh, workflow but the document it um, is applied to obviously is a standard document in ERP next so this will be quotation all right so anything related to a quotation this workflow will then be activated if I click the active button. You can also, of course, send email alerts. Now, the main thing about these are this uh, um, page or document that you define the workflow with are two things. It's this table and it's this table. Now, this table defines the states. It just defines the states. Uh, the person that fills it in to the next person that uh, approves it to the next person that approves it. Those three people are different states. Right, so the first state would be, um, and of course you can, let me just show you the workflow state list. Yeah, you can define extra states. These were standard to ERP Next. I've added those. You can add your, your own ones. Uh, and uh, we're going to use these states to actually define the states um, workflow, new workflow one. There we go. The different states that is valid for our document. So the first one is where the guy that fills it in. It's draft. Who does this? It's the sales um, user, for instance. Now, at this stage, the document has a state of zero, and you'll see there zero means it's saved. One is the ultimate. 
all right it uh, it will be then it will then be submitted okay so the next state we've said okay well it is approved by sales manager and who's going to take it to that state obviously the sales manager it'll still have be a, have a doc state of zero because it's still not submitted now we get to the third stage which is approved by maintenance manager all right then the doc state turns to one and the guy that's going to make sure that this happens is the maintenance manager. All right, so these are the three states that your document can find itself in. Now, how do you move from the one state to the other one? And this is what you set out in this table. So you've got a state called draft. And you'll see there's always two um, rows for each state because now you're going to say whenever it is approved it lands up in the next state if it's rejected then it moves from this state to that one through this action so it goes from draft to the next state would be from draft to that state approved by sales manager hey? approved by sales manager and who's allowed to do that or he's who's the person that's going to be instrumental in doing that obviously the sales oops sales manager there we go now if the action is to reject it stays in draft and once again it will be the sales manager that is responsible for that all right so this is how the document state changes from draft to approved by sales manager now you need to define the next movement so how does it move from approved or how does it move or how does it uh, the ch the state change once it is in approved by s approved by sales manager oh, let me just move this up a bit there we go once again two uh, states or two flows actually what did I do now by sales manager and if he approves it and if he rejects it Uh, reject now if we are in that state if it gets approved it moves to that state so this will be approved by maintenance manager and who's the guy that's instrumental in doing that it'll be the maintenance manager if it is an approved by sales manager state and it gets rejected it stays there so this next state is approved by sales manager and once again the maintenance manager is responsible for that all right so that defines how this works uh, or how the flow of this document must happen for it to be submitted um, now one thing I just want to let me just save this oh hang on we must make it active save it uh, now we've got our workflow there and it is active <clears throat> I'm going to show you something work flow stateless there we go when you 
define these uh, new states. One thing that you do fill in is this the style, the, the 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 indication, if you want to call it that, that uh, is linked to the state. And in this in this case, I used warning because warning will give you an orange dot. And if you remember, with many of these documents, there's always an orange or a blue dot. Okay, so I've defined this as orange, and of course the final one I said was primary, which is dark blue. So it'll change from orange to light blue to dark blue as we go to the through the press, uh, um, approval process. So have a look at that. Okay, so there's my workflow. So should I want to raise a quotation? Um, I click on new, it's a new quotation. This is my customer. <coughs> I've only got one customer defined in my database. All right, you can fill in the address and all these things. Um, I'm going to quote him for a product, one of, uh, there's a rate, that was the previous rate that this pro uh, item was quoted at, and of course we use a tax template to add the 15% VAT, and we get to a total. So this is our quotation. All right. Now remember, previously with quotations and purchase orders and all those things, you had the save button. All right. Now, of course, you still have the save button, and it's not saved, and it's an, it's a little orange dot there. Now, look what happens if we say save. All right. Now it gives you an actions button there. You can still see it's orange there because the state is still um, draft and draft. I linked it to an orange dot. That is under your control. Now my actions are to say either approve or reject. Now, obviously, I'm going to do all these actions. All right. I'm administrator, so I've got the role of sales manager, maintenance manager, salesman, everything. Okay, so I can actually do that. If I only had a salesman role, then of course uh, that button would not be available for me. You would have to log in then as a sales manager, and then that button would be available to you. All right? So just be very clear. I'm not going to log out and log in and that type of stuff now. Uh, the fact that I can do everything is because I'm administrator. All the roles have been assigned to me. But obviously, in a uh, in a multi-person setup, every person would have distinct roles. All right, so now my action would be to say, okay, I approve this lot. All right, can you see that the dot there changed color? It's now light blue. All right, and it says approved by sales manager. Now, of course, the the next step would be for the maintenance manager to pr approve it. And once that person, which is the last person in the workflow, does that, it'll change state here and it'll be submitted. All right. So, and I'm not going to do that reject now to show the reject states. Let's rather stick to the approve states. So I'm going to say approve. And there we go. Now that button disappears because it's blue and it says approved by maintenance manager. All right. And you can also see that the quotation has been submitted. So that's a very simple workflow example to show how one can actually have a bit more control about approving uh, documents within ERP Next. Good. I hope that was helpful.